Hi folks and welcome to Mr. Herbert's Science Class. We're talking helicopters and for you guys, I mean since I started making the one-bladed helicopter and airplane videos, I've been told over and over and over again, it can't work, it won't work. No matter what I've tried it on, my blade, 400, one blade, saw the video. My East Sky 900, one blade, 3D, saw the video. You've seen me fly my hammerhead with one blade, Nexus gas helicopter, and now the socket head, to get a little better balance out of it than the hammerhead. The one bladed propellers on my 3D, my one bladed hyperfly, and now you've asked me to make a one bladed MSR. Well, I did that. So now I have a one bladed Miltar MSR. So it's fly. You know what? Y'all say it's dangerous and everything. Getting shot at in Vietnam, that was dangerous. Jumping on airplanes and helicopters and parts were flying off and getting shot at, that was dangerous. This is moving forward in technology. You know, I'm no stranger to helicopters. I've been around since the very beginning. These were some of the first ones, you know, uh, American Man RC Manus, which I broke my bones and my foot on. I invented the Hyperfly from Kyosho, which is a two-channel, no-tail rotor, long time ago. I learned from the best helicopter pilots there were. Mike Moss, John Simone, at the time, these were the national helicopter champions. They taught me everything that I, I learned. And, now I learned a lot on the hard way too. You've all seen me fly my Blade 400. Some people say, can you fly it in bird? Yes, I can. Here, watch this. You know, my biggest problem these days, I'm 63, pushing 64, is I can't see very good anymore. I got contacts on. Makes it tough. So, you know, not being able to see what the heck is going on very well, and these things, of course, are the size of twittering hummingbirds. It makes it exciting for this old man. That was almost 10 hours of work. <laughs> what could go wrong? You all the wild flying you want, but you can't get back? Doesn't mean anything. Then this past weekend at Donovan's Fly-In, I was asked to trim out a brand new Blade 450 for Jordan Hoffer. It seems to be quite similar to the Blade 400 to me, but it was sure quite exciting for the folks and spectators there. Now it's Jordan's turn. He did a great job, and as you can see, he was a happy camper when it was done. Trudy flying her new helicopter, Keith with his. Uh, everybody watching, having a really great time. Gary uh, flying his helicopter, and of course the famous John Donovan. Everybody's having a good time here. Here's my stuff. Okay, how about a quick flight of the gas socket head Nexus Heli? And now we got a socket head. See how this goes. No gyro here, folks. Socket head. 
head. There you go folks, one rotor blade on the Nexus 30, this is the socket head. <laughs> okay, how about a one bladed MSR? Yeah, I think it could be made to fly. Okay, now let's try it with one blade and no tail rotor. See if it flies. The <laughs> MSR. A one rotor blade MSR. And no tail rotor. Well, it's very maneuverable. It runs longer on a 150 milliamp LiPo. It costs less to make. You know, a set of blades gives you a spare always. And now that I know it works, I'm going to make a more aesthetic looking tail rotor and a little smaller too. And for all you guys who keep telling me it can't work, it won't work, and why it won't work, I want you to see it work. And you know, if it sounds stupid and it works, it ain't stupid. <laughs> <laughs>